years ago, this stuff was really expensive. What, uh, probably in the 1990s or less than 2000. Uh, this stuff, th there was a copper shortage. You remember that years ago? I mean, this stuff skyrocketed uh, for price, and so did the 12 2. They have 12 2, 10 2, 14 3, 12 3, uh, 250 foot lengths. This happened to be less than uh, $35, or close to $35. The, the 12 2 um, with ground. For 250 feet was $55 plus tax and all that. 12.2 with ground you would use on 20 amp circuits. 14.2 with ground you'd use for 15 amp circuits. I've already made a determination that all of my electrical outlets on the for the plugs, especially down in here, is on a 15 amp breaker. So I'm using 14.2 with ground wire. And I told you before, you can get you can get this in smaller rolls. You know, all wrapped up in plastic like this, you can get 50 foot long. Uh, I think you can get even 75s and, and uh, 25s, a hundred footer. Um, but you see, the more bang for your buck, I thought because because this was only 35 dollars, I thought I might as well get 250 feet because I'm going to be using this for other things and. Had I've gotten a hundred foot uh, amount, because they don't have 125s, if I bought a hundred foot, it's more than, it's almost two thirds the price of this. So I'm not saving. If, if this was $35, you would think, okay, if, if I split that in half, 125 feet or a hundred feet, I should be only spend, spending $17.50. No, you're probably spending $25 or something for a hundred footer. And for a 50 footer, you're probably, you're probably spending, you know, if that was 25, you're probably spending, you know, more than half of, of what that cost was. And when it's all said and done, you're like, well, shoot. If, if for 100 feet, if this was going to cost me $25, let's say, as an example, I don't know the exact cost, but you go to the store and look. If that cost $25 and this was $35, for an extra 150 feet, $10 for an extra 150 feet, you might as well get it. Especially if you're thinking about doing other electrical projects. Now remember, on here, I'm not only going to use the wire to go underneath this, I'm also for the electrical outlet for to, to hook up all this stuff here. Okay, I'm also later on going to be hooking up that bare uh, fence. Okay, so I'm going to need power for that, so I'm going to need another piece over there. Boom, 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 wherever, wherever I end up putting it, I'm going to need, need another 15, 20 feet, right? Or more. And then if I put um, lights underneath here, underneath this floor, because I can walk around underneath there, I'll probably have another section of wire coming from there over to here with a light, boom, underneath here. Across from there with a light over in this section here, probably boom, right there. There's another 25, uh, no, probably... 30, 35, 40 more feet of wire, right? Then upstairs in my mother's room, when she comes to visit, I'm, I'm going to install a ceiling fan in her room. So I'm going to have to go from the light switch, I go from there up, and I've determined that, that that's on a 15 amp circuit so I can use my 14-2 wire. So I'm going to go up from the light switch, boom, and across over. I'm going to need another 20 feet of wire there, and then there's two rooms down here. Eventually, Momi wants me to put ceiling fans down here in these two back bedrooms, okay? And right now, see this bedroom right here? No ceiling fan, no light fixture, no nothing. There's only one switch here. That switch is for the, the lights by the bed, okay? So then I'm gonna put a light switch here come up here, run, run the wire over to here. This is where I'm gonna have to cut, I'm gonna have to cut a hole in the sheetrock wall. I'm gonna have to cut some in the ceiling because there's no attic up here. So my flexi bits aren't gonna do me any good here. Maybe if there's a fire block uh, at five feet and I cut this out, I can drill up through that. And then after that, I'll have a hole up there because I can't get up into the attic. So flexi bit will, will prevent me from having to make one more hole patch right there. Okay, so I'm going to need some Romex there. 
and then and then in this bedroom back here but don't this lights not not uh, I don't have a light connected over to there so I've only got a little light over here that's not that's not connected that electrical outlet over there is not connected to this light switch see and I don't think it is uh, for the top let's just see it's gonna be dark ah now I'm now I'm trying to fit okay there okay that's that's on let's see if it is no see that switch that's that switch over there is for electrical outlet over there not for that but see again nothing up here that switch is for one of these electrical outlets I, I think it's for that one and this one and uh, it's probably designed uh, they probably had it set up where you could put a bed right across through here okay but we opted to put uh, two little futons that, that you know little couches that we if we need a bed we can pull that out we can pull that out now we got two queen or two full-size beds in here but then I'm gonna need some electrical wire here too right and so you know I, I decided I didn't want to get a hundred foot piece or a 50 foot piece let's just go and get the 250 foot piece you know and so that's what I opted to do it's not really cost me much more if that if that roll of wire uh, would have cost a hundred bucks or 150 bucks or something like that then I might have thought twice might, maybe I would have gotten a hundred foot piece and then later on okay well at least I didn't have to spend that and I only need 20 more feet so I go back to the store and get a 25 footer or something you know but if you're gonna if you're gonna be doing different projects you might as well think about it but remember anything you do that's on a 15 amp circuit you get the 14 2 with ground okay anything on a 20 amp circuit you're gonna get the same kind of wire but it's it's called 12 2 with ground and um, this just happens to be white where I got it at the store and the 12 2 uh, happens to be yellow okay and maybe if you're doing a house you're wiring up a house it's real easy to tell okay which which roll am I going to use for the 14 to, for 14 as opposed to 12 so you don't get them mixed up and you get at the end and you've already uh, messed yourself up because you used 12 gauge where you're supposed to use 14 you use 14 in some places where you were supposed to use 12 who knows now you know had they not had any 14 2 with ground at the store or if I was only going to do one little project and I wasn't sure later on am I in was I going to do some areas uh, where all the ceiling fans on 20 amp circuits then I would have to use 12 gauge wire right but I've already determined that that most of the ceiling fans that we have in the house we only got three but they're all on 15 amp circuits but if they were on 20 amp circuits or if I was adding different things that needed to be uh, 20 amp circuits let's say I would have had to use the 12 2 and so then I could have gotten a 12 2 wire and I could have used that for my uh, 15 amp circuits if I wanted it would just make it a little bit stiffer a little bit harder uh, to fit all in the box and stuff like that it's still okay you can oversize your run if you're if you're on a 15 amp circuit and if I didn't have any 14 2 I could use 12 2 because it's a bigger size wire it's 12 gauge is bigger size than 14 gauge okay and 10 gauge is even bigger than that but you wouldn't use 10 you'd use that for for different things above and beyond anything that you need a 20 amp circuit for let's say and um so I could I could have used the 12 gauge if I if I only if I only had some 12 gauge wire and I only had 20 foot piece I could use it from there over to here wherever I was going to go because that still fits on a on a on a 15 amp circuit but on the other hand if this if if I had a 20 amp circuit and I wanted to to run off of there a 14 gauge wire for one plug in the wall one light switch in the wall one something um, could I run 14 gauge wire on, on, on something that already has 12 gauge wire on it that's hooked up to a 20 amp circuit no you don't want to do that you're over you're gonna burn up you could burn up 
uh, the wire, you could start a fire. It might not trip the system before this heats up because the wire size isn't big enough. So you gotta be real careful with certain things like that, okay? So anyways, that is my, that is all of my, my material. See, see, it's all dark outside already. And I was thinking about um, starting this project today, tonight, um, late this afternoon, but I thought, you know, I, I'll do some other things. Momi's, Momi's at uh, some function tonight. And so I thought, hey, I'll at least go through all this, make a few videos of this kind of stuff, get you all set up before I get ready to hook this up. So my next, my next video is gonna be the next section of this project, and that's gonna be getting down and dirty, figuring out exactly where I'm gonna go here, pulling these things out, cutting a hole in the carpet, cutting a hole through the subfloor, fishing my wires, fishing the wires down through here, taking that box out of the wall, all that good stuff. So keep watching my channel and I'll uh, upload these in such a way to where you should be able to see which one, which video is next after this series. All righty. Thanks again for watching. Hey, well, that's all I have for this time, but I'll be back with more videos. And I'm kind of excited about this project coming up. I hope you are too.